Good Thursday evening, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving from House Onic Backyard. Hopefully you've had a great day for today and a great evening for tonight. Unfortunately, for astronomy viewing purposes, it's going to be kind of a wash for this evening. The colder temperatures has done a very good job of keeping the moisture content of the atmosphere down close to the ground, so that's been doing a very good job of giving us some absolutely overcast skies for tonight, so we're not going to be seeing much of anything in the way of good viewing opportunities for this evening and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much into the rest of tomorrow. We'll take a look at that in the climate charts coming up in just a little bit. To give you some ideas to what to look at when it comes to astronomy online, a very cool site that you may not know about. We'll talk about that in just a little while and see if we have any good viewing conditions in the course of the near future, so stick around there. Satellite picture, again, showing some very quiet conditions, but very cloudy across much of the area on the infrared scan. This view from the Penn State Meteorology Group, and if you'd like to see more about that, you can go check Check out their E-Wall system, which has a ton of meteorological information on there. From the National Weather Service in Memphis, in the middle of your screen, the blue line, as you take a look at that's the cloud cover, which stays pretty well on the cloudy side right on in through Friday. So we're doubtful going to be seeing anything in the way of clearer skies out across the Mid-South for good viewing conditions. So mostly cloudy into tomorrow, some patchy fog possible overnight tonight. And as we get into around the area of Saturday morning, could be some patchy dense fog as well. But then the viewing conditions improve markedly. The entire weekend looks pretty good where it comes to sunshine out across the area but more chances of rain by Sunday night. So we might get in some good stargazing as we go towards Saturday evening. Stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you up to date on what we may be looking at there for the potential of anything involving viewing conditions. More information about what's going on, you can go to clearskychart.com, check out your location, and see more about what is actually happening out there where it comes to the good viewing conditions. This chart, courtesy the link, courtesy of Memphis Astronomical Society. If you'd like to see more about that, go to memphisastro.com com and memphisastro.org I should say and then also take a look at the Memphis sky chart it'll be on the top of their page and you can click on this and get forecast as to how good astronomical viewing will be within about the next 24 to 36 hours so a very good place to go to on that again too cloudy for any satellite or flying over or any iridium flares or any stars to be seen for that matter but a great website you can go to if you're online and want to take a look at things if you're stuck indoors for Thanksgiving and want to have a good place to go to to study a little bit more about astronomy. This is a very good place to go to. It's called the Astronomy Picture of the Day, run by NASA, and this has website pictures from the Mars rovers, from the Hubble Space Telescope, from the Voyager and Pioneer probes, to all kinds of neat and interesting other information out there, and there is a whole bunch of information. This website goes back, I believe, over a decade and they've featured a picture of some sort involving science or astronomy or weather or all kinds of unique and interesting things available, technology that NASA uses, things like that. And again, that's the NASA Astronomy Picture of the Day, or APOD, A-P-O-D, if you'd like to check that out. Some just absolutely mind-blowing shots out there of our own atmosphere here closer to Earth or what the difference is between a supermoon and a micro moon, which does happen from time to time. If you'd like to find out more about that or a vis vis vision of the International Space Station flying in front of the moon's surface being caught as the moon rises and is very full and a look at what the heck is going on with the temperatures at the North Pole, some 40 degrees above normal at this time to where there should be ice forming, but there's not. So there's a very good indication that climate change is causing a lot of unique and interesting difficulties up there, and that's why we need to study science more often and find out more about what's going on. But that's the astronomy picture of the day, and that's available from NASA. And if you're stuck indoors, cloudy, and you want to get outside and see the sights, but can't do so, this is a good website to keep you occupied for hours. Some absolutely beautiful shots in there if you like to take a look around on that. Again, into the weekend, looking at better chances of being able to see stuff, but not entirely too good for tonight, as you can see from the night sky behind me with a lot of sky shine out there. Hopefully clearing out as we get into the weekend. We'll bring you more updates on that. I'll be in for Todd Demers bright and early on Friday morning, as you may be heading out to shop or maybe getting some fresh air at a state park, which would be a lot nicer thing uh, going on 
on out there. And also we'll tell you a little bit more about if you're planning on buying a telescope for the holidays, where to go to a special group here in the Mid-South area. We'll be holding a special meeting to tell you a little bit more about what you can look for when it comes to astronomy equipment. And we'll tell you more about that coming up tomorrow on our edition of our Skyblog 3. In the meantime, that'll do it for tonight. Again, so sorry about the fact that there's not much to be seen out there, but take a look online. There's a lot of great astronomy resources that you can use when the skies are cloudy or foggy or rainy, and all you have to do is just look for them out there, and astronomy picture of the day is one of the best ones you can go to. Live and direct from House Onik Backyard, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive astronomy blog, Skyblog 3. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online, and remember when it comes to science or astronomy, keep looking up.